Hi folks! With the software-defined vehicle, system integration is an uphill challenge. Now it is the manufacturers who must build up and master software competence at a grand scale. After all, the vehicle is transforming into a rolling computer in which the software determines essential functions. And yet, the software must interact reliably with the mechanics. Systems engineering is one answer to this complexity. My name is Daniel Frank. I am a principal consultant and trainer at UL Solutions. My systems engineering expertise covers the development of automotive systems that must be both functionally safe and highly available. Within UL Solutions, I also lead our community of practice for systems engineering. In this video, you will get an essential insight into what systems engineering encompasses in automotive R&D and how you can benefit from a holistic approach in your projects. You will understand five important aspects of automotive systems engineering, ASE. First, ASE is a problem-solving process. Second, ASE follows a first-time right approach. Third, ASE provides full transparency. Fourth, ASE controls milestones throughout the product development process. And fifth, there are six ASE principles. Before we take a closer look at these aspects, we need to clarify one question. What distinguishes automotive systems engineering from regular systems engineering? Automotive systems engineering complements normal systems engineering in two ways, in terms of time and in terms of scope. Traditional systems engineering supports traditional R&D processes. In their logic, development takes place in a precisely scheduled phase within a project. With the end of the project, the development also ends. With the software-defined vehicle, there will be development tasks even after production. This is due to regular cybersecurity and digital services updates to be applied to the vehicle. The continuous development of these updates also requires methodically structured processes. Comprehensive automotive systems engineering must incorporate this continuous engineering. One possibility for this is the embedding of an automotive process framework. Such a framework also expands the scope of automotive systems engineering. To meet automotive standards, additional work streams address regulatory concerns such as cybersecurity, functional safety, and the requirements of the automotive spy standard must be met. Both additions, the coverage of the entire life cycle and the integration of specific regulatory aspects extend systems engineering to automotive systems engineering. With these insights, we come to the first aspect of automotive systems engineering. Part 1. Automotive systems engineering is a problem-solving process. Systems engineering is not an off-the-self solution. It supports the creation of a particular system. Systems engineering is a problem-solving process for which the manufacturer must tailor a known optimum procedure to make things applicable. To support this process, systems engineering offers a comprehensive repertoire of methods and numerous templates. For automotive systems engineering, normative requirements such as cybersecurity, functional safety, or automotive spice must be included. When you rely on a process framework for the automotive industry, you get a blueprint that proposes many decisions based on proven principles. These are our first takeaways. For each project, you need to tailor your own systems engineering approach. And an automotive-oriented framework supports you with pre-configured processes. Let's go to our second aspect. Part 2. Automotive systems engineering follows a first-time-right approach. 
In a complex system, multiple interdependencies do exist. Therefore, any decision affects many elements. Technical depths can arise in the blink of an eye. If something must be revised, this quickly has undesired consequences in other unexpected spots. This results in a lot of rework efforts during development. The later an error is discovered, the more expensive it is to eliminate. Automotive systems engineering therefore relies on a first-time right approach. Thorough ASE work in the early stages of development should consistently prevent errors. Dr. Deming, the founding father of quality, emphasizes that quality does not just happen, it is built in. That's what a first-time right approach is all about, quality by design. Automotive systems engineering therefore puts the emphasis on early design decisions being made on a sound basis. The careful elicitation and management of requirements therefore forms a core element of automotive systems engineering. Automotive systems engineering focuses on system building through system analysis, requirements elicitation and management, system architecture design, system simulation and development, and validation and testing phase. Three of these five aspects take place on the left side of the V model. Thus, automotive systems engineering ensures thorough system design with as few technical depths as possible. It is equally important to get immediate feedback through continuous testing and to take into account when making further design decisions. This creates a comprehensive understanding of the system across the entire development process. Automotive systems engineering thrives on consistency from conception to the operational phase. In the development of the software-defined vehicle, this systems thinking is crucial in order to be able to develop new architectures with interdisciplinary teams. To train system competence for the desired system, automotive systems engineering determines system requirements, defines and documents them. This illustrates what the concept is aiming at, making the assumptions of the involved parties clear and unambiguous. This brings us to our next takeaways. A prerequisite for quality is a first-time right approach. And this requires intensive preparations in the concept and design phase. Now, let's move to aspect number three. Part three, automotive systems engineering provides full transparency. Ideally, Automotive systems engineering is based on a system model. This can be used to communicate all essential information, including functional and non-functional requirements. In model-based systems engineering, the system model is even at the center of the development. MBSE virtualizes the design process as the basis for communication between project teams, various disciplines and management. The model then serves as a single source of truth for all decisions. From an automotive perspective, modeling has even more advantages. Functional safety and cybersecurity add more and more non-functional requirements to be allocated to the architecture. A model can support the documentation for a safety and security by design approach. The system model helps in clarifying Automotive systems engineering is a top-down process. Downstream engineering ensures continuity and consistency down to the individual parts. As a single source of truth, automotive systems engineering creates transparency across the entire project. This means that all information is always up to date. Stakeholder requirements are also documented here and the project status of the engineering disciplines and project partners involved can be accessed. Project managers and management decision makers know at a click how the project is progressing. The required documentation can also be provided by working with a model. The product development process thus becomes 
almost automatically traceable. Let's formulate our next takeaway. As a single source of truth, Automotive Systems Engineering provides the platform to manage a complex project. Now we can switch to an aspect that helps in gaining even more transparency. Part 4. Automotive Systems Engineering controls milestones throughout the product development process. A solid project setup is hardly everything. Together with the system description as a model, engineering milestones can be defined for implementation. This involves a systematic review of design decisions, that means transparency once again. Assumptions and criteria are made either clear or are questioned until they become clear. Like an agile setting, automotive systems engineering relies intensively on communication through formats in which the participants can share their experiences and learn from each other. Automotive systems engineering thus offers orientation in two dimensions. First, vertically, by linking the product view with the procedure. Second, horizontally, by structuring the engineering process. This results in another takeaway. Engineering milestones allow us to monitor the project and to get feedback in time. As a summary, I would like to give you a set of six principles that we have developed for automotive systems engineering. Part 5. Six principles for automotive systems engineering. 1. Clear technical responsibility. Responsibility is the counterpart of transparency. It must be clearly regulated regarding which party is responsible for making certain contributions to the success of the project. 2. Holistic view on the project. The big picture covers all views, product, project and processes. This picture must span the entire product cycle, cradle to cradle. 3. Consistent engineering practices. This is where stakeholder requirements come into play. Consistency means that these are incorporated into the system architecture and are consistently verified and validated. 4. Processes are useful. Processes are a prerequisite for the first-time-right approach. In a team of teams setup, no one achieves consistent quality without robust processes. 5. Focus on people. This principle refers to those who contribute to your project with their knowledge. It emphasizes the need for shared vision and the removal of obstacles by management. And 6. Managing the work. The last principle combines realistic planning with transparent monitoring and data-based decisions. If you apply all these principles consistently to your project, you will make an important contribution to managing complex projects transparently and successfully. This was my overview of automotive systems engineering. Together with an automotive-specific process framework, you can coordinate and integrate all activities across your product lifecycle. For this video, I have also prepared a free white paper. You can find a link to the white paper below in the video description. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up. Of course, I am also looking forward to welcoming you to one of our training courses. We've prepared intensive training on automotive systems engineering. You can also subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our other videos. Click on the video and keep on watching. See you soon. Mm -hmm.